Welcome back to Flash Custom Designs. If you're new here, my name is Chelly. If not, welcome back. Here at my channel, I give tips, tricks, and tutorials on owning a small business and creating merch and creating new things within the merch business. As far as new vinyls, today we'll be working with the new vinyl, a puff foam vinyl that I have never used before. So I wanted to share with you all the first experience with it and the um, different settings that it comes with different settings with versus the heat transfer vinyl so let's get straight into the video okay so today we are going to do the foam puff vinyl as we uh, mentioned earlier uh, my husband showed out a content wants to put this foam puff vinyl on his headrest Some people want them on hoodies some people want them shirts my husband wants it on a headrest So we're gonna put it on a headrest. We're gonna put his logo um, Right here his logo is just a square. So it's right here. So these are two. These are the back headrests um, These are a little smaller and the surface is a little flatter than the front headrest. So let me go ahead and get right into that. Let's see. So um, for these, we're gonna do just right in the middle, which is a three by three. The larger headrest that we did earlier were a four by four, so they were a little larger. With the foam puff vinyl, you have to set your heat press to 300 degrees for 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and do that. We have that set already, 300 degrees for 10 seconds. Original HTV is 350 degrees for 60 seconds. So it's a big, a big difference in temperature and time. So be sure to remember 10 seconds, that's all you need. 300 degrees, all you need. So we're gonna go ahead Put this on our mat, it's just like regular HTV shiny part down. We're gonna put that on our mat here. And the setting on your Cricut, we're gonna go ahead, let me um, go here. We're gonna put it on custom. So when you put it on custom, you have the options here to pick any custom materials you would like so I'm just gonna click um, I've showed you guys this in previous videos if you hit all materials it just kind of gives you a list of different different oh look foam distress craft foam plush craft foam you could use these but I did get um, advice to use the iron on setting just like a regular HTV so I'm gonna go ahead and use the iron on setting for the HTV. So we're gonna go hit everyday iron on. And we're gonna hit pressure. We're just gonna hit more pressure just to get a little bit more pressure. And also, don't forget mirror on. Since our shiny part is down, be sure to mirror. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so we'll go ahead. Um, we have our foam vinyl face down. We have it mirrored. We have it on an iron, everyday iron setting with more pressure. So we can go ahead and get it started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and weed it. We just got it off of our um, Cricut. I know what you guys are thinking. When you're thinking foam vinyl and you're thinking puff vinyl, how is this vinyl so flat and thin just like regular HTV, right? I have some flock vinyl, which is like a suede vinyl. It's very thick. So you can tell that it's a different type of fabric, like a different type of vinyl. This one is thin just like HTV. But once it is heated and once it is peeled off, it does puff up after um, it's heated and peeled off. So it's very, very, very compressed. 
which is pretty cool. I thought I thought it was gonna be like very puffy, but it's not. Even this is even this looks the same. So I think heat definitely activates the puffiness because this is flat, matte, just like regular HTV vinyl. Okay, so we would just weed it the exact same as HTV. I'm gonna go ahead and weed this one with the second one real quick. Okay, put them at the light, make sure they look good. Let's go ahead and take them to the headrest. Okay, so obviously we're gonna use our heat press to do this. Obviously you can't completely close your heat press. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna try to see how we're gonna do it is we're going to uh, place the headrest here, lean it against and then press. This is, um, there's foam inside of this so we'll be able to get this flat surface flat on there. So we're gonna go ahead and place this where it needs to go. It doesn't have to go so low because it can kind of go in the center. I'm gonna use some heat tape to place it down. What, where do you want it in? Oh, in the center, wherever you can put it. Okay. That's good. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. So, you want to do it? Sure. Okay. So we're going to get him to do it because he has strong muscles and strong wrist, and he can probably get a better press. And I'm practicing. Yeah, and he's been practicing. So we're gonna still use our Teflon sheet because it is a vinyl. We don't wanna get it, um, we don't wanna melt it to the top, so Teflon sheet. We have our heat tape on there. Be sure it's heat tape and not regular tape. He's watch gonna- this. Watch this, watch this. what? Watch, put it like that. Press against. One, One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. So we went 13 seconds. Yeah. Just, just for a little razzle dazzle. Okay, if you can see, leave it right there. You can see that the, it's already, the plastic has came up a little bit, like you don't even have to peel it. It's already came up and stuck to the fabric, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take it off. You see like this? Yeah, you can see that the plastic has already came up from, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and lift that off. And there it is, there is our foam. Oh, it's way more puffy. Puffy. Of heat. Yeah, so the longer <laughs> we did it, I think it's supposed to be, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go down so you can kind of see the texture of the puffy. Bring me something that's flat vinyl. Give me that shirt. So I'm just kind of show you the comparison of something that's flat vinyl. Here we go. Flat, no texture. Oh, that's a nice vinyl texture. Versus this puffy, puffy foam vinyl. It looks really good. Yeah, that's super fun. It looks like it's embroidered. Embroidery? Yeah. Embroidered. 
on there. It looks really nice. Yeah. Very puffy, very stern. Because it even, yeah. Very sticky. Yeah, that buff, that heat running out. I like it. I wonder what this would look like on a hoodie or a shirt. Mm -hmm. That might be next. Probably amazing. That might be next. All right, so there we go. Yep. Okay guys, we are done. We are done with the front seat headrest. We're also done with the rear seat headrest and this is how they came out. So this is the front seat headrest, which is good. And this is the back seat headrest, which this is a um, four by four, this is a three by three. Okay. And how difficult do you think it was for you Flash Custom Design? On a scale from one to 10, it was super easy. Um, the only thing is, just be sure to stick to your 10 seconds of heating. Don't go over. Um, it expands more with more heat and you don't want it to expand too much or all your um, letters and things like that will just kind of get all smushed in together. <laughs> She's so short, so I gotta come down. Okay, so yeah, so you don't want to use too much heat because if you're using too much heat, then it'll just kind of start to look like a, a, a a blurb, a blurb, a puff. a puff. Yeah, it'll look like one big cheesy puff and you won't be able to tell the difference in between each letter. Mm -hmm. It'll actually mess up the spacing in between each letter. Yeah. So, but I mean, for being able to do this at home, this is kind of why we invested in all the merch that we have, in all the products that we have mm -hmm. here at the house. Uh, the heat, the hat press, the heat press, and the cutting machine so that we can make custom things for our cars. Uh, for other people's cars as well as merchandise. So I'm just extremely excited mm -hmm. that I can, it's a Kia, but I can add a little flair to it and kind of put my branding on my Kia. And I want to say, officially, it is definitely the first Kia in the world that I know of with a uh, custom YouTuber headrest. Here we go. There we Foam go. vinyl. Foam vinyl. <laughs> and we'll put a link in the description below. Also make sure you check out her video because she has a more in-depth video of how the process is on Flash Custom Designs. Anything you want to say as we head up? Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Yes, and don't forget you can purchase all of our merch. Ah. Don't forget you can purchase all of our merch on flashcustomdesigns.com. And don't forget to get that Big B TV merch. He has the best drip out right now. Make sure you go get all the drip for the honeys. All right, guys, you guys know my slogan. Be safe, be basic, peace.